Good day. Uh, I am Michael Vincent Del Josue, and my groupmates are Aro Jim Ruger, Abelino Daisy, Castro Robinson, Dogi Mary Ann, Ferrer Teonel, Longay Zion, Nileng Dona, Panilas Maika, Payang Horano, and Soria Jerome. And I am here to present our research with the title, The Family Background of a Child in Conflict with the Law in Baguio City. Uh, for our abstract, the study was conducted to determine the family background of a child in conflict with the law in Baguio City. In addition, uh, the study aims to know if there is a significant effect of the reading practices of the parents their child. Furthermore, we use a qualitative type of approach. For the introduction, under literature review, in order for a child to survive in society, it is the main duty of the parent to nurture the child to become useful in the society. And according to Freud's theory, stated that uh, the events in our childhood have a great influence on our adult lives, shaping one's personality. And Freud also thought that parenting is of primary importance to a child's development. And the family is the most important feature of nurturing a child. And uh, the main objective of the study was, uh, of our study is uh, to know the causes of juvenile delinquency and why some of the youth in Baguio City are in conflict with law. And for the materials and methods, the, uh, the design of our study is uh, qualitative on a key study basis. And uh, the population of the study were in, uh, the participants of the study were five children in conflict with the law here in Baguio City were selected throughout the uh, help of the Social Welfare Development Office uh, in, a, in, Baguio, in Baguio City. For, uh, the, uh, we gathered uh, the data for him. We used uh, an interview type face-to-face uh, -face and we formulated our questions where in the interview we will be comfortable in uh, answering verbally and in that way, uh, we, start, we started the interview with proper and formal introduction. We introduced ourselves one by one and uh, discussed thoroughly with the intentions for our case study to further help the interview we understand uh, our intentions, uh, which they approved to participate with. And in the treatment of the data, uh, data gathered from the respondents will be analyzed through the use of thematic analysis. Wherein this method for, uh, is for identifying, analyzing, organizing, describing, and reporting themes found within a data set. We, the researchers, researchers choose this method to be used as it helped the, uh, we, uh, it help us, the researchers, to make a general theme from the set of data gathered that will lead to more specific findings. And for uh, this part of the study, the result, uh, uh, th this study talks about uh, the data that has been collected by the researchers. Uh, the first questions asked to the respondents was in relation to the first SOP, which pertains, which pertains to their ex experiences when it comes to their background and the reading practices of their parents. To sum up our research, uh, based on the findings, the study revealed that the experiences of a child in their homes really affect the child on becoming delinquent, and including also the way parents rear their child. Yeah, that's the biggest, that's the biggest thing that may uh, affect uh, one's life or a child, child's life throughout his uh, adulting. And uh, also, despite, despite also the rearing practices done by the parents, if the child doesn't listen or obey their parents, it would be useless. And once again, I am Michael Vincent L. Josue, uh, representing our research, third year student of University of the Cordilleras, CCGE department, 
good thing. 